so my name is Megan. I am one of three main practice partners for Generations Midwifery Care uh, with Heather Mason and Jeannie Steven, but da -da -da, I am not a midwife. I am the practice director, admin, bookkeeper, jack of all trades. What? What was the question? What? Who do I work with? Midwives. What do I do there? Run their lives. <laughs> um, person who will make your lives better and awesome. My role is absolutely certainly unique in Ontario. Um, I know there's a lot of practice uh, admins out there that are like very heavily invested in their jobs, um, which yes, check for me, but um, my role is unique in that it has actually been written into my contract that I'm a practice partner, um, which is cool. It's just one of the it's just one of the many things that we are trying to do in this practice. Um, to make things different and uh, and why I think that we rock so much and you should work with us. Um, Benson, huh? what do I do for a job? Um, be a, be a what? Mi midwife. I'm not a midwife. Wait, you know, like the boss? <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, what does mommy do for work? Um, help people get their babies out. I'm not a midwife. Um, so yeah, so it's written into my employment contract. I am considered an employee as well, so I kind of have both sides, which is amazing. Um, and there's all sorts of roles that I do for the practice that you might not be used to administrators doing. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love my job. And, um, and really strive to make life for the midwives good. I think it absolutely leads a, lends a unique perspective during our practice meetings and um, you know work days when we're brainstorming about the practice and about client care. It lends a unique perspective to have a non-midwife on the on the board, um, in the group, and having a voice is is so amazing. And I absolutely have a voice here. Um, we actually try and make sure that everyone has a voice here, regardless of partner status or associate status. Um, you know, major decisions are not forced upon anyone. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I think our practice rocks. Um, we try and have a culture of yes in this practice, and that means that if you need something and you need help and you reach out to somebody for help, um, we say yes. Unless it is like absolutely catastrophically not uh, possible, we say yes. Um, and like I don't want to give the perception that we are perfect, we are not. But we really, really do try and support each other and love each other um, and have each other's backs. Um, and like that can be said for me to the midwives and to the midwives to me and also the midwives to each other obviously um, most importantly. You already saw a little bit of um, how work-life balance works. Um, sometimes Heather's kids come here at the end of the day on the school bus and um, you know I, I think we don't want to give our clients and the community this perception that either that we can do it all or, you know, that we don't have families, because we do. Um, so they're often front and center in what we do. It is a small community as well, so um, we definitely see clients out and about with our families um, and, uh, and, and get to know them. Hi, this is baby Daphne at work with my mom. <laughs> One of the things that I love most about our clinic is um, how much um, informed consent is, is really front and center. I mean, I know it's supposed to be, but uh, I think that we just do a really exceptional job of respecting our clients' choices. Okay, so here's the thing. I love my job so much, and I love the midwives so much um, that I'm sitting in this car making these videos for you, although there's people around probably looking at me uh, really concerned why I'm talking to myself. Um, I, I think that if you worked with us, you would see how awesome it is and how awesome our practice is. So you should give it a shot. I, I just don't even know what to say about this. This is terrifying. Like straight out of a horror movie terrifying. I had a request to wear this dress and this face mask and I did it because I'm that good of a practice.
partner person for my midwives. <laughs> hey guys, Megan here. Um, so I am down at Hardy Park, which is one of the beautiful parks we have in Brockville. Um, again, this is part of the video where I'm trying to convince you that you should come work for us because we're amazing. Um, Brockville is a small community, there's no doubt about it. If you like a lot of variety, you're not going to find it here. Um, there's like one Thai food place, and one Indian food place, and one sushi place. Um, and you know, they're like at best good, but there is not a lot of option. Uh, what you will find though is that um, we are on the 401, right smack dab in between Kingston and Ottawa, and there's a ton of option in either one of those places. Um, I actually really like that Brockville is smaller. I feel like it's nice that I don't get bogged down by rush hour traffic. Um, I kind of like, I kind of like just knowing that there's, I got cut off because I was talking too long. Noted. Um, so yeah, one of the things that Brockville does have is awesome, beautiful parks. And um, it, you know, like some would say that it, it does really try and pride itself on having, um, like a sort of a theater arts community. Um, in, at Hardy Park in the summer, there's often like little festivals and there's music in the park on Sunday nights, which is lovely. Um, on Sundays as well, I think um, in the warmer weather, there's yoga in the park um, and lots of nice waterways in this area. I'm gonna try and turn the phone around um, in the same stream and show you. I'm not gonna get in the car though, because uh, it's cold. Okay, I just took a short drive to um, Black House Island, which is right near Hardy Park. And I'm sitting here with even more cars that are looking at me. Funny while I'm making this video. Uh, Black House Island is awesome. It's it's a lovely place to come in the summer. Um, there's Adirondack chairs everywhere. It's just like a lovely little uh, place right on the water. And of course, um, it looks terrible right now, but uh, it's generally pretty awesome. Surrounding Brockville, you've also got all sorts of like if you like camping um, or hiking or um, just you know nice trails and, and being by the water, nice waterways. Um, this is a fantastic little town to live in for that kind of thing, or if it's a fantastic uh, community and surrounding area. Um, you know, honestly, like Perth, Sioux Falls, um, Kempville, there's there's some really great little towns that encompass our catchment uh, so I feel like everyone just needs a little bit of this in their life isn't this cute uh, a little while ago I wrote my birth story for my third daughter or my third child um, she was a home birth she um, was diagnosed at birth with Down syndrome and it was a friggin awesome home birth experience in which I'm so eternally grateful I had her at home um, and had the support of my midwives to um, really have a, a normal home birth and uh, early postpartum. So I made this really cute video of Mira, but I deleted it by an accident. And so I just woke her up so you could see how cute she was. Thank you. Can you say hi now? Hi, can you blow kisses? <laughs> Do you like your ears? And your nose? Can you say hi? Yeah. Okay, look at this. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>